everyone, it's Nell here uh, with Ethel, who is demonstrating quite well why she gets called Mini-Me. I know, do you see a resemblance? Um, the question for today uh, is uh, Doll Fund Wiggle Room. If you had money to be able to experiment with different sizes companies and types of BGDs, uh, what dolls would you choose to get? Um, with stipulation that they can't be dolls that you would actually save up money for, um, and also dolls that you don't have characters for. Um, and I actually I do have a small list of dolls that fit those um, specifications. But I'm just going to talk about three today. Um, the general thing is why I choose to save up for what I do is does look good with my current collection and is it a size that I think is going to work for me. Um, so first of all, on the list of dolls I get if I just had if I was just experimenting, uh, first off would be Spirit Doll Like Horus. Um, I just really love spirit dolls sculpting. They do beautiful work on their body, um, on their bodies, and I know there's something about like horse's face that I like. Um, it's just something that j draws my eye, really. Um, weird thing though, I don't really like her the default face-up for Lycoris, but I like the default face-up for the boy version of the same sculpt. I don't know. Maybe just how they did it looks different, but I prefer how they did her up as a boy rather than a girl. Um, but I would get her as a girl. Because I generally just prefer girl dolls. Um, the second one on the list is Impel Doll Trista, I think is what it's called. Um, she's the Imp Young Center, so she's a mini, but she's a center. Um, and I actually really loved the Doma Doll Centers, which were tinies. And I remember when I saw one in person, I was like, oh my gosh, like I would love to have you, but bigger. Um, so when I saw that, oh my gosh, Impel has like a center. That's awesome, man. It's the size I always wanted to center. Awesome. But I don't think I'd save up to get her because she's so obviously fantasy um, that I'd be afraid that she'd look out of place with my current collection. Um, I actually really love fantasy and I love fantasy dolls, but I don't have any in my collection. Um, I'm hoping to maybe, at some future date, change that, but I know I still don't know if that would work out or not. And last on the list is a doll that's not even in production yet, but that I'm really, really excited about, even though I don't think that she would work out for me. But she's just such a fascinating concept. Um, what doll am I talking about? Sugar Bull Medusa. Um, and if you haven't read the BGD Collectacy article about her yet, um, you may be aware that Sugar Bull already has um, tinies that you can get the snake hair parts. Um, and he can have ones that have little fangs as well, which is awesome. Sugar Bull's really creative like that. Anyway, but they actually are making a jointed snake lower torso part. Um, and when I say jointed, I mean they actually jointed it so that not only can you curve the tail, you can actually make it so that the doll can balance on the tail, which is awesome and incredible feat of engineering. Um, so I saw that article and I just went like, oh my gosh, like that'd be so cool to have. But much like with um, the Impel Doll Center, 
I'm not sure such an obviously fantasy doll would work out um, with my more human looking dolls. Um, of which, yeah, Ethel's probably the most human looking one of all of them. Um, but, you know, if there's Dolphin Wiggle Room and I could just experiment with these different dolls and find out if they work for me in person, um, those would be the three that I'd get. And I'll include photos of them after this video ends and I will put the links to the companies and the BGD Collector's article in the description but down below. Below. Um, yeah. So that's it. Bye everyone. Wait. Oh. Oh. Bye everyone.